I'll tell you something that you don't know about me. I am the soul of tolerance. I can accept a lot of things. The inevitability of death, world poverty, the price of a good pair of shoes. But get a dome or go home. Oh darn, I'm all out. Tuba, I need you up here. You look like a influential, intelligent, sensitive individual. Let me ask you a question. What's it like being sensitive? Okay. I know a place you might go. At the back. A dark-haired guy. His name is Rial. He's wearing a feather bolo. <laughs> I think he's your only hope. Good luck. Stop me if you've heard this one. A total stranger goes into a private party after midnight looking for some kicks. And he meets the host, a dashing world-famous artist. And the host says to him, what are you doing here? And the stranger says, Oh. <laughs> uh. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to convince me that you're worth knowing, and this will count towards your final mark. But here's some advice. The more you tell me, the more likely I am to find you fascinating. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go. You have a serious problem with anger, don't you? I like that in a person. Boring, 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 boring. Are you for real? Pardon me if I gag, but you're just a little too cheery for me. Sorry. Terribly sorry. That's not good enough. And you weren't really trying, were you? Go away and think about it for a while, then try again. What are you, on speed or something? Man, you're all manic and jagged. I think you should go away for a while and chill out, then try again. Yes! Good! Nicely done! So you've decided that I'm to be your entertainment, have you? Well, I'd love to oblige you, but I uh, need to know more. You arrived late, didn't you? So, what have you done so far? Oh, no, 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 not nearly enough. You must go away and get yourself experienced and then come back and see me, okay? Okay. Ah, yes, the machine. An amusing diversion, to be sure. A frivolous swath of computer candy floss. Or is it? The next time you play, stop looking at all the pretty pictures and see if you can find God. Okay? Sweet Charity? Yes, I know her. And she is certainly anxious to know me. She wants to tear open my belly and let all my ugly secrets spill out, and I won't let her. I might tell you my secrets, though. I mean, since we're friends. Good idea. You are wise to consort with Riel. He is a wise man. But one would be wise to avoid Riel, because he is a wise guy. Yeah, you were talking to Mia. Yes, I know Mia. Mia is what I would call a very special friend. Very special. Would you like to be a special friend? Of course you would. Well, a good way to start would be to stay away from Mia. Aha, my computer genius. Don't you go corrupting, little lady, now. And there are many more interesting things to come on that stage. I suppose you know that my performance will be the final one of the evening. 
I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet, but I was considering offing myself. And you know, the more I think of it, the more I think you should join me. I can deal with you, you know. Still here? Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Do you have any idea what's going on here? Then I'll only be too happy to instruct you. This is the temple of Odmi, the dark god of techno-fetishism. And I am his high priest, Miod, slayer of minds, render of logic. Rest assured, pitiful mortal, your fate is sealed. <laughs> huh. What? Is that really the best you can do? Tell you what, introduce your brain to your mouth and assess the danger you're in here. Don't you think it's a little bit risky, you total stranger in this strange place? <laughs> then you're the only one. Next you'll be telling me that you know who I am. <laughs> there are people here who want your soul. Hell, I want your soul. I'll get it later. It's all just a flicker in the retina for you, isn't it? A tickle in the brain stem. You know, if I could only have you see yourself as you see me, Blind you with visions. Maybe later. You're asleep. And if you should die before you wake, then God will see that you're a fake. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Tell me something. Do you think you could worship me? What? What? Well, you don't. Not a bit. I am not accessible to you. I am not in any spectrum that you can perceive. The light you are seeing now left my body before you arrived. The sound you are hearing is the voice of the translator. You know where you are? Ah, so you read my file. You are a special person, aren't you? I'm bored. Go away now. Really, I have to work. Please be gone. Go away. My, my. Aren't you the moral reprobate? I'd ask you to have sex with me, but I've been impotent for years. I can do something better, though. Come here. You've seen the files, have you? And now you know the secrets of the Edom. So, do you want to know more? The sauna? Mia? You and Mia in the sauna. You're out! You're gone, pal. Tuba! Tuba! This one's out! So, you've gotten all close and personal with Ed, have you? Tell me, did he say anything about me? Now that Shiva is something special, no question. If she offers you a gift, you be sure and take it, because she doesn't offer it very often. In the meantime, I have a gift to offer. Come here, I'll give it to you. Don't be shy. That's it. You know, I am Gnostic by tradition. It means that you can only know the divine through direct experience. There's so much to know. Come here. He's really quite a sweet child. I've more or less adopted him over these past few years. No, it's more like I've fallen in love with him. But lately, well, it's like he's gone astray or something. Oh, well, life isn't perfect, and what fun would it be if it was, right? Uh-huh. I see someone showing you how to use that thing. 
Just be careful where you point it. It's loaded. What? A Jim Jones tan? Oh man, that's cruel. What? Right there in the EDOM file? You just click on them? I think old Ed has lost a bit of the plot here. I'm gonna have to have a talk with that boy. Man, it's sad. I have things to do now, so off you go. The final act is coming up. <sighs> oh, very kind of you. Now let me return the favor. I don't mind telling you that you've broken my heart. Goodbye. Let us pray. It's a heat flash, backslash, crash and burn, cold flash. It sears you into crystal steel, forces you to kneel at the piercing, peeling altar in the smoke blackened chapel where we sacrifice our synapses to casual doom. You can feel your circulation thrumming softly to the rhythm of the susurrating currents that seduce you from the air. If you listen very closely, you will hear your own arousal, like the whisper of the death blow that can take you unaware. Ego, power, love, money, sex, beauty, ego, power, envy, lust, angst, art, money, money, power, ego. Us now, baby, don't have a bird. Vito's gonna give you a magic word. And if that magic word don't flash, Vito's gonna burn you till you turn to ash. And if your ash gets blown away, Vito's gonna think of something funny to say. It's an outrage. You were right. He thinks I'm mad, an egotist. Well, he doesn't know a damn thing. He feels threatened or something. It's Oedipal. The machine is his mother, and I am his father. Damn, I hate this thing. I hate him. I hate you. I hate life. Right. Nada. It's all this incredibly expensive, exhausting, angst-filled exercise in futility. Strutting and fretting our 15 minutes of fame and then, pfft, oblivion. I can't believe that this is all I am. I can't believe that this is all there is to do. Right. Nada. It's all an incredibly expensive, exhausting, angst-filled exercise in futility. Strutting and fretting our 15 minutes of fame and then pfft, oblivion. I can't believe that this is all I am. I can't believe that this is all there is to do. Hmm? Well, that's just it. Nobody knows. We all get involved in these fantastically complex rationalizations, building vast, flimsy superstructures to prop up our lopsided egos, and for what? It's absurd. Stupid and pointless and absurd. And stupid. Okay, maybe. I mean, when it works, it seems to have this tremendous power to transform reality and usher in human transcendence. But for who, really? For this vapid tribe of trouser apes and yammering mannequins? I don't think so. They want to get stoned, get laid, get lucky, and that's it. And who can blame them? Is the human condition really meant to be this tortured quest for wisdom and glory? Or is it just a big, fat, organic blunder? And we simian, hairless apes had to evolve consciousness to screw it all up. I don't know. Okay, maybe. I mean, when it works, it seems to have this tremendous power to transform reality and usher in human transcendence. But for who, really? For this vapid tribe of trouser apes and yammering mannequins? I don't think so. They want to get stoned, get laid, get lucky, and that's it. And who can blame them? Is the human condition really meant to be this 
tortured quest for wisdom and glory? Or is it just a big, fat, organic blunder, and we simian, hairless apes had to evolve consciousness to screw it all up? I don't know. Why am I doing all this? What's the point? What does it all mean? Can there be a point? You know what? I think I'm going to change the world, but not for art. No, no. Out of boredom. You just watch me. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm in a real daze here. I didn't hear what you said. Talk to me. Talk to me. That's it. There is no reason to make any effort at all. I mean, why weed the vast planet when we have the gardens of our souls to tend to? I hereby renounce all public spectacle. You have decided me. Hallelujah. Well, I am sorry, but at least you're getting something out of this. You're the only one here that seems to benefit from experience. <laughs> Man, I wish I could go back and do it all again. Hello, I'm Vito Brevis, and I know you've all been waiting patiently this evening for my appearance, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to let you down. You see, the fact is, I was going to change the world tonight, and now I've thought the better of it. You didn't really want your world changed anyway, did you? So you're better off? <laughs> That's all, folks. Party's over. Everybody out. Tuba. Why are you here? You have come to this room on this night expecting what? What pathetic goals did you set for yourself as you crossed the threshold this evening? Was it sex? Drugs? Scandal? Murder? What would you say to Godhead Perhaps you've heard the rumors that I and my colleagues are involved in an ancient, powerful, mystic cult, yes? Well, I'm happy to inform you that the rumors are true. We are the Edom. We are the razor-sharp edge of a vast global power pyramid that has been evolving for millennia. We are a gene echo from prehistory, before the dark veil of consciousness was pulled down over our minds. We have drawn our plans in secret, preparing the world for the day when we will take our place at the head of a transformation that has been foretold since the dawn of humanity. Sanity. And now, our time is at hand. And the good news is, that you're all invited. That's right. Tonight, a portal will open before you and you will witness the absolute power of the Edom. You will be bathed in the glory of the essence of creation, baptized in fire, forever transmuted. You will become disciples and witnesses of the first act the doomed pageant of this civilization. Apostles of the new dawn. This is a children. Let's get metaphysical!
<laughs> As expected, Vito has not let us down. It's been a most extraordinary evening, and what can you say about that unusual, astonishing, brilliant technical finale? Vito has taken this opportunity to poke fun at fashion, at art, most obviously himself. Something seems to be happening over here. Can we get this? I don't know what to say. Is this part of the concept? Are we part of the show? One can never, never know what to say with Vito Bravis. You filth, you vacuous, slimy pervert. Leave out. Get no more. Go away. Go away from here. Out. What is it? I don't know you. You haven't got a dome. If I don't know you and you haven't got a dome, then that means you're crashing my party. And while that makes you fascinating, it also makes you potentially dangerous. I like that. But get a dome or I'll have Tuba throw you out. Ah, good for you. Don't we feel better now? Aren't you part of the team, one of the gang, a cog in the great machine, a happy unit under my all-protecting dome? <laughs> Aha! You again. Give me an update on your dance card. <laughs>